so if I ever look a little overdone, you can be like, rough. But again, you can take your foundation brush and just kind of neutralize that out a little bit. Okay, and I am going to go ahead and do a little bit of concealer this time. I don't always do that, but I am today. Just a moment! Okay. So I am using highlighter just on. Uh, I did actually hit the crust, but I don't advise that. That was a boo boo. Okay, but I usually should stay below that. And that's a pretty good shine tip into the nose, the bridge of the nose, right here above both brow points there and there, that bone right there. Get a little shine on that. Some people like to shine here. Again, that's where most older ladies have wrinkles, so I don't advise it. But the top of the chin, not down here, but right there, and right on the cupid bow. But make sure you blend that out so it doesn't look like you had marshmallow for lunch and some of you didn't like yourself. <laughs> um, that is a very good product. Can I tell you? These are all very affordable. They are very easy to find at any, any drugstore and usually the grocery store. So I would put that in there. So we put everything so far in here in the makeup thing. Okay. Now I am going to, just because I want to, I'm going to put on lip product. And this has always been my dupe anyway for my Chanel uh, liquid lipstick. This is a lot more expensive. Do I think it's better? Yeah, I do. But this is perfectly acceptable, especially as I age and my income changes. You know, when I return stuff, I will probably switch to just this. But um, also, if you're just watching your money, um, that's good anyway, even before you retire. Um, this is super steak. Uh, 24 and it's microflex technology anti-transfer 24-hour wear now I will tell you this has really good coverage and it wears a really long time I always use perpetual plum 55 sometimes I've gotten 54 Matter of fact, this may be uh, and then for my bright kind of strawberry look I use 45 so these are the two colors like I already had this one but I am gonna go ahead and go with the new one today I like that though um, but uh, I mean, I already had that. So let's just go ahead and start. All right, this is more of a plum tone. And when you put it on, it's going to uh, go on wet looking, but then it quickly mattifies. Kind of doing our lips a little less wide, a little more focused in the middle. And I'll tell you why. These wrinkles on the side really collect makeup, y'all. And also, you have these wrinkles that go down. So kind of stop the lipstick before the end of your lip. I know you're going to think that looks weird at first, but I, I promise you'll get used to it. And I mean, initially, go ahead and get the color. Oh, and then just wipe it a little bit off, a little short. Oh, oh, oh no, I did not just get that in my hair. It didn't do too bad, though. <laughs> All right. Main thing is make sure you get that lower lip shape right, which I really have a problem with, if y'all haven't noticed. hard time getting a Cupid's bow right and I'll tell you why I don't have a very defined mouth I don't um, to be so mouthy and noisy let me make sure I didn't get lipstick all in my hair I mean it happens right when we get stuff in there that's not it's just like mascara sometimes you get that in your bangs let's see what a pretty color that is very matte but I will tell you until you put on the other end 
it is a little tacky and it's very matte and drying. This, just like this, the other end, is moisturizing. It sets the product and it looks shiny like lip gloss. This, same thing. That's more of a gel. This is more almost like the uh, a petroleum jelly, like a like a um, like a Vaseline intensive, uh, not intensive care lotion, Vaseline petroleum jelly. And it's thick. That's what this feels like. You see how shiny now? Do you also notice it's not transferring? It sets the product. I don't know the science behind it. Again, be very careful. It's very easy to carry in your purse. Where's another color? I'm going to keep these together. Because that's my kind of strawberry color. And this is my plum color. So one's more pink. One's more a little brighter. So I'll put that. The only reason I'm putting everything in here is I would like to have one toiletry bag or makeup pouch. This is actually the Louis Vuitton toiletry bag. But y'all know me with all my makeup, it's going to have to be big. So that's why I used that instead of the makeup pouch. Because I have the makeup pouch. It's so tiny. No, that is the pochette. And I use that as my Medi pouch. But um, I'm sure a lot of people could use that as a makeup pouch. So I don't want to be me. I, again, make sure you rub stuff out of this wrinkle that you know, turns down. And just make sure there's nothing in it. Especially after you eat. Check yourself. Like, go to the ladies' room and check yourself. Okay. I will have to say already, this full coverage products typically look very porous. Like, you can see the pores really bad when you wear a, a heavy-duty product. And it's because it sinks into the pores. So, my recommendation would be... Um, Hold on a second. I didn't do the under eye concealer, y'all. Should have done that for my blush. But anyway, um, my recommendation would be that you use a primer first. And I did not do that. And so my pores look really exaggerated because this is thick. It's supposed to last a long time. And I feel like Ma Maybelline's known for that. Okay, so here's the other thing I'm doing. I'm using Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in Fair 10. Comes in like that. Okay. And I've got a little bag here. I was going to put trash in because no matter how this turns out, I'm keeping all the product. Sometimes, if they allow it, and a lot of times they do, I will return something if I don't like it. But also, frankly, so far, this has been fine. I like it fine. So let's see what this is like. Okay. Okay, it's a little sponge applicator, almost like you would use for lip gloss, which I actually like. And I'm going to come under the eyes. Now, we already color corrected, but it's not concealing. Same thing over there. Let's just see. Yeah. Get the A spots real good, y'all. I'll have to blend that out well. And then I also do like to go in this part of your cheek where it drops down just to lighten that back up. And under the nose there. I usually just blend that out. And in that wrinkle. Really kind of right past that wrinkle. And then right here. I'll go ahead and do both sides. I was going to just show comparatively. But we know what concealer does. So let's just see as it is. I do feel like these products are a little drying. Y'all, just so you know. You can put some up there, but I've got nothing to conceal there, really. I'm lightly going to do these little places. Okay. This is a good one just to keep in your purse, because I can tell right now it's going to blend really well. And I think I picked a pretty good color match. So, and I'm just, you can use a concealer brush, which I do have. Let me see, where is that, baby? Where is that concealer brush? Just had it. Is that it? I think it is. Nope. <laughs> Don't want to use the wrong brush. Put some color on yourself. I thought I had that handy. Well, there's one. This is a large concealer by Sigma, and this is the F65. And I'm just going to 
wipe it off on the cloth just to make sure it's good and pliable. And because it's a large concealer, it's really easy to just kind of, it's almost like a big paintbrush. It's almost like you're, it's a cross between smoothing and dabbing with it. Okay, so here's the problem that I always have with concealers when you use them after a color corrector. Look how really wrinkled that looks because those are both heavy duty. Put my tongue in that wrinkle. Um, it definitely does lighten it up. And so I'm going to do that right there on the nose. Right here. I'm not sure about this color on my face all the way around. Like it's looking a little yellow down here. But, you know, on the rest of my place, the face, the foundation doesn't look yellow. I think I used too much. Ah, that looks good. Okay, and then again, we're just going to use the tip end to kind of swirl right there on, through the lashes. And then just kind of dab it. And pat it. Again, we'll have the crux of that nose right around that corner. And just kind of blend out that area. Purposely going in different directions from time to time to kind of make sure that we get, you know. I'm purposely also doing this just to kind of take some of that extra excess color off. I do feel like it's a little yellow for me, the foundation. Oh. <laughs> Make sure you dab out where you did your concealer so you don't just have little splotches there. Especially here, and use the back side of this now to kind of blend that blush and bronzer back up over that. Because that's where I have a really bad age spot, as y'all know. That's probably my worst age spots right there. Oh, I'll get rid of that a little bit in there. That was a little too much product. So one of the things you can do when you've got too much product is use your brush to kind of, or if you like a, um, a sponge,